Hitler's Jewish SS soldier. As many of you know the Schutzstaffel was an army branch full of fanatical Nazis. The Schutzstaffel also run the concentration camps and the Einsatzgruppen. After doing some research on the Schutzstaffel and their anti-Semitic campaigns I found out that there was actually one Jewish soldier in the Schutzstaffel. Today we are going to be talking about Emir Morris. Aaron Morris born on the 19th of January 1897 in Westermoor during the times of the German Empire. Emil was a close early associate of Adolf Hitler. Their friendship started back in 1919 when they both joined the German Works Party. Morris joined on the 1st of December his party number was 594. During the founding of the Sturmabteilung in 1920 he became the first Oberster SA Führer, Supreme SA Leader. Morris led the SA Stormtroopers in fights that were known to break out with other groups. In July of 1921 Morris became a personal chauffeur for Hitler himself. In March 1923 Morris also became a member of the staff guard a small group of bodyguards protecting Hitler against terroristic attacks. In May 1923, the unit was renamed Stostrup Morris, Julius Schreck, Joseph Birchtold, and Erhard Haydn, were all members of the Stostrup. On 9 November 1923, the Stostrup, along with the SA and several other paramilitary units, took part in the abortive Beer Hall Putsch in Munich. After the Beer Hall Putsch the Nazi Party and all the things that associated with the Nazi Party were disbanded. In 1925 when the Nazi Party was officially refounded Hitler immediately ordered the formation of a new bodyguard unit the Schutz Commando. That same year the Schutz Commando expanded and it became the Sturmstaffel, and on the 9th of November it became its final form. The Sturmstaffel finally became the Schutzstaffel. Hitler became the first person to join the Schutzstaffel, Morse became the second member of the Schutzstaffel. Morris immediately became SS Führer in the SS. Later when Morris told Hitler himself that he was having an affair with Hitler's half-niece Geli Raubam Hitler forced him to end the affair immediately. Morris was also dismissed from Hitler's personal service in 1928, he was allowed to remain a member of the SS, as chauffeur he was succeeded first by Julius Schreck and then by Erich Kempke. In the 1932 Morris received a promotion and got promoted to SS Oberführer. Morris would never receive a promotion after that. Morris is till this day still seen as one of the few founders of the Schutzstaffel. Himmler's conflict with Morris over his Jewish great-grandfather. All the SS officers had to prove that their heritage didn't have any Jewish blood in them. They had to proof all the way to 1750. Himmler considered Morris a serious risk, even though Morris helped back in 1923 he was still seen as a security risk given his Jewish ancestry. Himmler wanted Morris to get expelled from the SS because of his Jewish heritage. Himmler got annoyed when Hitler stood by his old friend. In a secret letter written by Hitler to Himmler, Hitler told Himmler to make an exception for Morris and his brothers, who were declared honorary irons, personally by Hitler, they were allowed to say in the SS.